Hey, sorry if I scared you. I know I have somewhat ghost-like features. My uncle used to say, you look like someone starved a virgin to death. <laughs> this, yeah, I can see it. Good morning. Whoops, that was weird. I don't know why I did that. You kind of have a, like a kingish feeling to you. You're like a, like a Norse hero from Valhalla. They actually tried to diagnose me with a wasting disease because of my slender frame. I think we can jump into the one-on-ones with each team member to see if I can defend our cap table. Okay. Um, but first, if you don't mind, I'd like to use the restroom. Uh, yeah, well, you don't have to ask permission to do that. Why have you not gone since you've been here? I have not. I'm awake, I'm awake. What? No, no, I wasn't. I was sleeping. I'm sorry for, for sleeping and for lying about it for both. No good. It's not great news. We love the name Pied Piper. It's a classic fairy tale. Well, I looked it up. It's about a predatory flout as two murders children in a cave. It has all that going for it, Richard, and I still hate it. Look, Richard, if we are going to change the name, we need to do it now. Name stick. My name's only Jared because Gavin called me that on my first day. My real name is Donald. You know, um, Hitler actually played the bassoon. So technically, Hitler was the Hitler of music. What about dwarfism 2.0? Where's dwarfism 1.0? Just in the world. Oh, it's prejudice. That's, you're, that's hard you're fault. really terrible. I'm sorry. What are we going to do? If you keep screaming your name, it forces the assailant to acknowledge you as a human. Richard, um, could I speak to you? <sighs> OK. Yeah. He's the least cool guy I've ever met. Is there a reason I wasn't invited to the party? Is there some sense that I'm not part of the gang? What? Or... Uh, Jared? Of course not. Well, uh, it was just a, an oversight. I mean, we weren't even sure if we were going to go. Uh-huh. And what was it like there? Were there gelatin shots? Come on in, guys. Um, I'm going to stay here, I think, because I look absurd. Yeah. So what are you going to say? Fuck, I don't know. Oh. What if we were to separate them, right? Divide their existing workspace into two areas. We could put in some kind of portable barrier. He's talking about cubicles. We're not doing cubicles. No way. No, 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 no. Don't think of it as a cubicle. Just think of it as a, a, a neutral colored enclosure about yay high around your workspace. Do you need parking validation? No, I, uh, I use Lyft, so I'll lift it back. Why don't I have Peter's car take you home? Oh. Driverless car. Hi, um, I'm going to 5230 Newell Road, Palo Alto. Route guidance calibrated. Distance to destination, 4.6 miles. Buckle up, please. New destination, 1 Gregory Drive, Aralon. Distance to destination, 4,126 miles. Enjoy your ride. Um, what's happening? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Mr. Carr? Um, Carr? Mr. Carr? Yeah, uh, excuse me. Aralon is an island, so how are we, um... Oh, no, 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 stop, let me out. Um, uh, that's not good. Oh, no, no, excuse me, please. Please honk, please honk. No, 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 please, please. Where is Jared? Resuming operations. Please be careful. He says that she has an Amy Winehouse vibe. What does that mean? All tatted up and nowhere to go? Hooked on Oxycontin. <laughs> Decomposing. Oh. oh, okay. That was dark. What's your name? Visit us at microdrone.com. Uh, excuse me, no thank you. Free video of you at 
Uh, no, thank you. Ethan, are you Ethan Zimmerman, CEO of Flingual? Uh, uh, whoever's doing this, no, thank you. You really think that you can come between me and Richard Hendricks? We're partners. Okay, and I've devoted every second of my waking life for the past two months to him. Okay, I am devoted to him and to the precious thing that we're building together. I'm his partner. I can tell when he's vomiting uh, what? because he's nervous. No. Or when he's vomiting Never mind, he's Kate. Sad. I'm fine. Or when he's vomiting because he had cilantro, which he loves, but he shouldn't have because it makes him. Thank you. For what? Uh, you know, everything. I feel like we don't appreciate you enough, so thank you. Are you, are you crying? Are you crying? Ah, oh, don't do that. Don't cry. I downloaded Wajid's bro app out of curiosity and found it very sticky. I've never felt like I was anyone's bro before. The only people who have used that term with me were assailants, but um, I started broing people and getting bro back. Oh, this is my nightmare. And all of a sudden, I'm bros with all kinds of people, including a guy from Branscombe Ventures. OK, but. Does he know about the lawsuit? Yeah, I told him. I mean, you know what they say, bros disclose. No one says that. Get some sleep, my bros. I'll set the meeting, and um, then I'll go find some hoes to prioritize behind you. Are you trying to say bros before hoes? It's sexist, but it's about friendship. It's actually very real. Let's take... Uh, Do you have eight, to pee, seven. Jared? Because okay, so I have to pee. Have to act, uh, I would love to pee. We did it at Hooli all the time. We'd schedule meetings with companies so they'd explain their technology, then we'd use their ideas and our products. Like what happened to Yelp? Yes. It's like when somebody says they want to go birding with you, but really they just want to get you alone in the woods so they can take your binoculars. Even with the 50 grand, we got a tech crunch. We've only got a few weeks left of runway before we crash and burn. Richard, if it makes you feel any better, I put that Branscombe guy in his place. I dropped him from bro, but not before I sent one final angry bro. What do you mean? You you can make them angry, you can make bros angry? Well, he made this bro angry, but technically no. Thank you, Jared. But Hooli was like an abusive spouse to me, you know? Like um, that guy who married Julia Roberts and sleeping with the enemy. It was dehumanizing. But then you, Richard, you pulled me out of the life and you gave me hope and you gave me a sense of self-worth like Richard Gere did to Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. This is weird. Every day here has been like that shopping spree scene. I'm putting on hats. Okay. Well, Richard, firstly, congratulations on finally being funded. I hope you took a little time out to enjoy this moment and celebrate. I certainly did. You did? I did indeed. I celebrated earlier this morning. You did this morning? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they just kept saying that if I didn't waste so much money at the butthole doctor, then we'd have enough money. But. I pay for all my medical out of pocket. So, this is the team. Uh, whoa. I'm just gonna say it. This guy fucks, am I right? Because I'm looking at the rest of you guys. And this is the guy in the house doing all the fucking. Am I right? You know I'm right. This guy fucks. <laughs> Thank you. My only concern here, and it's a small one, um, he's also named Jared. Will it be confusing with two Jareds? If we hire him, I can always go back to my real name, Donald. No, that's too big a hassle. We'll just go with other Jared. OJ for short. I know a name is just a sound somebody makes when they need you, but shouldn't this much newer Jared be other Jared? You should be flattered. OJ Simpson is one of the most recognizable people on the face of the planet. Our top priority is to hire the most qualified person available, right? Of course. But it would be better if that someone was a woman, even though the woman part of that statement is irrelevant? Exactly. It's like, we're the Beatles, and now we just need Yoko. That's the worst example you could have used. Guys, um, this is actually pretty serious. I mean, we're all cool here, but we know each other. So obviously when uh, Dinesh calls me retarded Frankenstein, or he describes me as AIDS lady, or Guilfoyle refers to me as effeminate Katie Lang, I know this is a joke among friends. Well, it was not a joke. We're not friends. <laughs> See? It's hilarious. My best friend's nickname is Cunty. I'm sorry, her name is? Cunty. And I was hoping I could call her Cunty while I'm here. OK, that one's easy. No, you cannot. Because, you know, I want to have Cunty come visit me for lunch. And if I can't call Cunty Cunty, then it's like I'm not going to want to have Cunty over at all, which I feel like kind of violates my rights. Yeah, um, it does not. As a woman. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. No, more Cunty. Terrific. That's really good. Cunty's done. Great, but you said it again, but maybe that's the last time. Cunty's done. I'm gonna call you OJ, though. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Good. That's for good. Yeah, yeah, because in my head, I changed the meaning from other Jared to original Jared, so now it's a compliment. You think working here might help? Actually, uh, yeah, I think it would. But um, can we afford it? Well, this is an investment in your mental health. Richard, I mean, can you put a dollar value on not wetting your bed? Ah, I don't. So Gavin Belson can just pick up the phone and make us radioactive to every single web hosting service? It's how these guys operate. I mean, when Bill Gates got married on Lanai, he rented every helicopter on the Hawaiian Islands so that paparazzi couldn't use them to fly over. Although in that case, it was a positive because now you can imagine that wedding however you want. So you'll need this entire space then? Yep. All right, I'll move my things. What? It's okay. I'll have it all in my car in no time. Wait, Jared, uh, are you living here? In the garage? Indeed I am. High on the hog. Nein, das ist was Sie wollen. Aber wie können Sie alle tot sein? Ich würde mich gar nicht in Kran schleichen und in die Kelle schauspitzen. When did you learn to speak German? What? I don't speak German. You sure? Yeah. Pounding caffeine and sugar is not exactly going to help, but you know what might? Kegels. What? Kegels are a form of exercise that strengthen the pelvic floor. Now, yes, it's most commonly used by women to recover control of their vaginal muscles after childbirth, <laughs> but it can really help, <clears throat> you know, night sweats. Wow. Okay, we're not going to talk about this anymore. I'm doing it right now. Clench, unclench, clench. Nicht will es sehen! Ich werde mich an ihn ranschleichen und in die Kehle aufschlitzen. Er werde mich Holy nie kommen. Shit. I wouldn't be so dismissive. There was a, a, a live stream of an eagle's nest last year that went viral and was getting millions of hits. And I don't want to be inflammatory, but next to a condor, an eagle looks like a common cackling. Maybe we should SWAT this decision. I don't know what that is, but no. SWAT analysis? Nope. S-W-O-T? No? Holy cow. Did he really just say, holy cow? I've had a board ready for just such an occasion. I've booby-trapped the house with corporate resources. Right. So basically, we end up working for Enframe after giving them our idea, which was way better than theirs, and they end up making more money than us. Fuck that. Assholes. Fucking king-sized assholes. Buttholes, indeed. Adult content has driven more important tech adoption than anything. With the first fiction ever published on a printing press was an erotic tale. And from there, it was Super 8 film, Polaroid, home video, digital, video on demand. Are you saying work will set you free? Yes. They have the manpower. We have the perseverance. Triumph for the will. He's the most cheerful person I've ever heard quote Hitler. By that logic, anyone who goes to an open casket funeral is a murderer. You are one dark motherfucker, Jared. Yeah. You should have never called that museum, Jared. They're uh, on there pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit. Jared, you just killed that guy. No, I, I get it. And look, I probably shouldn't say this, but there are a lot of really great VCs in town. You'll be fine. I just... Just what? Jared, clear this. Get all the smoke out of it. Um, Otherwise, it damages the device. Um, Don't be a pussy. Some of these companies are pretty good. Flutterbeam's, like, really good. Of course it is. They all are. You're the bell of the ball. And these are all your swains, hoping for a glimpse of ankle. Richard, do you think it'd be okay if uh, I took this box? I'm moving out of Noah's guest house after work. And you want to sleep in that box? <laughs> no, I haven't slept in a box in years. Stop. Where are you gonna stay? Well, I always have my trick. 
All right, I'll bite. What's your trick? I simply imagine that my skeleton is me, and my body is my house, and that way, I'm always home. Why don't we uh, knock off for tonight and just pick this back up tomorrow morning? Mm, agreed. I'm going on close to 40 hours without good sleep, and the edges of things are starting to get a little dancy. What? I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but Guilfoyle's right. You're making it worse. Sorry, Django. Django? <laughs> I'm Jane. Great. Now even fucking Jared is busting my balls. I am. I'm, I, I'm, I'm busting your balls. <laughs> Wait, we can't enjoy going to work. Minor Tsagin's haversack. What? Minor Tsagin's haversack. No one? Really? No one's heard of Minor Tsagin's haversack? Of course I have, Jared. Just oh. explain it to them. Hey, Dinesh, nice chain. Do you choke your mother with it when you put your penis in her butt? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Richard. Oh, Here, I've got it. God. There were fresh droppings near my cot. I think you were right. The have a heart traps don't seem to be working. I was thinking maybe we could just pick a day and, and just drench it in hawk urine because the scent of a predator can keep rodents at bay. It's funny, we're named Pipe Piper, but we're beset with rats. Little rascals. <laughs> well, what you did took incredible guts. And the fact that it probably won't make any difference makes it all the more meaningful. I saw this nature documentary where a bison fought a lion to protect the rest of the herd. And it was so moving. Um, it didn't work. The, the lion uh, tore into the bison and then laid waste to the herd. But what courage. These offices were nice. Now oh, everything looks so bare. Yeah, there is a certain sad vulnerability to it. Have you ever seen a, a naked dead person? No. 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 What's going on is not necessarily lost, OK? We just need to find it. I found my retainer in a school dumpster. I found my biological father in a militia up in the Ozarks. This should be no problem. Don't worry, Dinesh. We'll find it. My captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Rise up and hear the bells. Rise up for you. The flag is flung. For you, the bugle trills. All right, dismissed. <laughs> well, uh, just to remind you, Pipe Piper is still a sinking ship, so... Enough with the maritime metaphors. This is honestly like the best birthday gift that I ever could have asked for. It's your birthday? Oh, I don't know. The CPS worker couldn't find my birth certificate, but maybe now it is. The chairs are arranged in ascending order of lumbar support, so have a gander. Oh, uh, word to the wise, the Hayworths are like a spa day for the buttocks. Yeah. And I have a fragile posterior. My aunt used to call me glass hole. So you can take it from me. How about that? I made my first sale. I've organized a lot of estate sales, so this is kind of my wheelhouse. What? I have a lot of elderly friends. Oh, that is a fun item. I had a stuffed animal named Winnie. Oh, wow. I mean, it wasn't technically an animal. I took a, a Ziploc bag, and I stuffed it with old newspaper, and then I, I drew a smile on it. And now that Richard's dating, yeah. In solidarity, I think I might get back out there myself. You make it sound like you've chosen not to date. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to focus on Pied Piper. But yeah, maybe now I'll fan out my plumage, so to speak, and see what pretty birdies might share my nest. Jared? Yeah? Who was that? Oh, that was Carol. So, uh, Jared. Did you just have sex with her? What? I'm an adult, and like the rest of you, I'm a sexual being. So you just meet a woman, and then you have sex with her? How often has this happened? Well, if you're asking me how many times I've been in love, the answer is two. But the rest I won't talk about. It's untoward. Russ was right. This guy fucks. I don't want to count our chickens before they hatch. I mean, 3% of hatchlings are born mutated or dead, but we may have a healthy brood on our hands. However unattractive this jacket may seem to you, once you slip it on, everything will change. It'll shake out its hair and take off its glasses, and before you know it, you'll be in love. Richard, I'm, I'm sorry the guys didn't like Pipey. It's over, Jared.
Well, you know, a lot of animated characters have rough starts. Early Bugs Bunny cartoons were just garish displays of anti-Japanese hysteria. And now he's the face of Warner Brothers. Richard, I am so sorry. It's okay. Would it make you feel better to, to strike me? No, you, you had good intentions, Jared. Honestly, don't give it another thought. Just, you know, you and I right now are the only ones that know about it, okay? And in a few weeks, when we run out of money, this will all be over anyway. Richard? Yes? We have a secret. Yeah. Jared, have you been crying? Yes, but for ordinary reasons. Please, go on. You're certainly not helping your cuticles by biting on them. Your nail beds are gonna get infected. Where'd you learn how to do this, anyway? Oh, uh, when I was on the street, it was a means of survival. You are out. Big Head is in. Not my call. Richard, we just can't keep fucking pivoting. We won't just do it again. Just a second, okay, I just, you're not getting it. Please, uh, I'm quitting. Wait, what? Richard, I was waiting out front. They want to ambush you and replace you with Big Head, but I had nothing to do with it. We have to bifurcate our relationship. You and I can no longer discuss business. All right, we can, we can talk about anything else two guys might talk about. We can talk about sports teams and their scores or pussy. Hey, Richard. Have you seen the new Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition? The cover model has the most lovely, enigmatic facial expression. People don't have people killed in the valley. Not even Gavin Belson. Okay? Right, Jared? I, I once saw him throw a sloth down a flight of stairs after a presentation, and he said it was an accident, but he had this look in his eyes. I, I can't rule it out. Select destination. No, no, no. Optimizing route no, to Aralong. No, thank you. Ehrlich didn't get a call from Ed Chen today, did he? Yeah. I, uh, I heard them on speakerphone, because Ehrlich was neti potting. I think, uh, I think they're meeting tonight. These notes, all this, this is gonna save me months. This is it. I mean, I was right all along. I was right. Can I just, can I try something? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Woo! 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 Sorry. When you don the skin of the beast, the man within dies. Why is Richard in there with Brett Saxman? I mean, he was in Gavin's inner circle. Is Richard aware of that? Is anyone taking notes? Does Richard even have a pen? That is so funny. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. Why are they drinking beer? We're partners. What's your point? He and his, his posse of, of bandits and cutthroats will turn on you in a second. You need me. The half crazed, half Apache, who will do anything to get your back. I'll scalp Gavin if I have to, and all the rest of those pale faced sons of bitches. I'll kill them with knives, I'll kill them with guns, I'll kill them with my hands, I'll talk them into suicide. It doesn't matter. Just to be clear, you're not gonna stab anyone, are you? <laughs> oh, it feels good to lay off. Oh. <laughs> so, so that's a no then? <laughs> Never <been true. laughs> Oh, you're both headed to Gavin's. Indeed we are. Together again, Butch Cassidy and his head of business development. Oh, wow. Another Western reference. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. And I just think having an asset like Gavin Belson you on say? your side. You dick! Oh. You dick! You dick! Okay. Whoa. Oh, all right. Fuck you. Okay. It's about, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Gavin is our partner. We need him engaged. I made the call. Sometimes you have to make compromises. I, mean, I once slept with the head of an assisted living facility to get my friend Muriel bumped up the wait list. Am I proud of it? No. Do I regret it? Jared, I, I don't think that that's... Richard, this is no time for false humility. You're a catch, just deal with it. Now, you need to break this thing off clean and clear. So you just walk into that office and, and you look her in the eyes mm -hmm. and you say, listen, baby, you're getting hitched, and, and I was born to roam. Overall, we're firmly in the top 30,000 Huli phone apps. I mean, we may not be a global epidemic yet, but we've leapt from bat saliva to humans, and, and we've just killed our first few villagers. It's like Limp Bizkit. You sued those guys too? Not the band. <laughs>
the thing the band is named after. Limp Biscuit's an old frat ritual where all the brothers race to stroke one out onto a biscuit, and then the last guy to nut has to eat it. <laughs> all right, so sometimes it's a wheat thin. No, no, I'm not going to go and hold again. Um, in fact, um, could, could I transfer you to my supervisor? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 I have to take a shit. Just um, do your best Ed Chan impression. Um, one moment, please. What's up? You got Ed Ch uh, Chambers. Jared Dunn? Yep. Just a moment, please. I'll transfer you. Go for Chambers. <laughs> Ned, I knew it was you. Hey, did that pussy Jared keep you on hold long? I eat that motherfucker's lunch every day. <laughs> no, man, I literally eat his food. What do you want? Uh-uh, ain't gonna happen. That's as high as we go, homo. Till next time, Rook. How much? $300,000. So, we just ate the wheat thin, didn't we? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see any wheat thins. Shall I add them to your shopping list? Sure. You are my captain, and I'm your mate. And I will sleep in the bilge with the vermin, and I will eat hardtack, and I will say thank you. And if duty requires, I will stand on deck, and I will salute you as we sink beneath the waves. Uh, this is the last row, Dinesh. He's not here. Colin! Colin! Will you shut the fuck up? How would you like to die today, motherfucker? No, it's not a real death threat, sir. You cow-handed poltroon. We... We thought you were a stallion. You're no stallion. What is it with you guys and stallions? What's with you and being a rat? Fuck! I did a little digging on the alt-right guy, and he's uh, pretty involved in a campaign to eliminate black emojis. I've got 30 great guys. We were like family. A and you only want to bring along 12? I have to do what's right by my guys. Look, I know what it's like to only be able to rescue half your family, and it's awful. But what can you do? Sometimes there's Jerry, only okay, one. Stop. What are they doing back? Hey, where have you been? Sleeping. <laughs> what? All night? I was supposed to take the whole team four days. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I feel, I feel like Mary Magdalene on Resurrection Day. Dana and I kept finding ourselves on the same bathroom schedule back at Huli. Uh, men and their cycles. See you tomorrow morning. Sweet dreams. <laughs> if only. <laughs> I stayed at Big Heads last night. Oh, God, I've been calling all night. Yeah, I just didn't feel like getting reprimanded. I, I, I thought maybe you were locked in another Starbucks bathroom overnight. <laughs> one time, Jared, one time. I'd also like to tell you I have a seven bread machine, and I have never been happier with an appliance. K-hole. I can't believe it. I am bursting. I'm bursting. Um, here, I printed driving directions. Oh, it's OK. I got my phone. Well, I've marked available bathrooms along the route. Why should it be? America loves Christians. Muslims are the enemy. Well, that's true in most of America, but not in Silicon Valley, sadly. Sadly? You can be openly polyamorous, and people here will call you brave. You can put microdoses of LSD in your cereal, and, and people will call you a pioneer. But the one thing you cannot be is a Christian. Cutting all ties to deity and first sight will definitely send a strong message to Colin. And it might be the only way. Like killing somebody to prove you're not a narc, or showing a John your genitals to prove you're a legitimate male prostitute and not an undercover cop. What? Because cops aren't allowed to do that. And worst case scenario, the John walks off with a free peek. Oh, that's the towing company. Excuse me. What the fuck? Why does every home I've ever left get stripped? OK, you're up. OK. Let's uh, slap each other. What? No, no, it's okay. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, I, yeah. The, uh. Now, Jared Dunn, as Pied Piper COO, what is foremost on your mind as you make this big announcement? Manure? They should really talk to Richard. I mean, I'm just the parsley around here. Richard is the meat and the potatoes and the rice pilaw. No one saw coming. Was a is, new technology is my nose was really that big? I, mean, I, I look like an anti-Semitic propaganda cartoon. Yeah, I guess so. He said he needed a dick. Holy fuck. What did you do to your face? This? 
Oh, it's uh, just a light saline injection. It's temporary. The idea was to distract from my nose, which scans kind of large on camera, so it just kind of evens things out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, I'm sorry, is the consensus that this is too much? Hey guys, Colin from K-Hole Games is on the phone. They, holy shit. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel insecure. What the fuck am I gonna say to these people? If you want, I, I can try to calm them down. I could teach them some anger management techniques I learned in the system. No, you look like a fish man. No, 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 not private. Everyone has to know that I'm better than Guilfoyle. I'm sorry. When it was just us, a little coxmanship was a fun diversion. But the entire engineering team's morale depends on seeing you both as equally competent leaders. Sometimes you have to numb yourself. If you want to work the corner, you can't fall in love every time you turn a trick. That's why you do the oxy. Uh, campfire smells sad and exciting at the same time. I understand. Yeah? <laughs> Hey. Hey. What are you doing out here? Oh, uh, well, a few hours into our conversation, Fiona mentioned she'd never seen the ocean. So you just been out here all night talking to a robot? It's funny. The past few weeks, I've been feeling irritable and short-tempered, and here I am on no sleep at all, and I just feel, whoa, you know? Adversity is a great teacher, just like cigarette burns. <laughs>